The first characteristic in the heart of medicine is knowing who your patient is as an individual, unique human being. The second thing is to value every member of the team, starting with the person who might be even cleaning the room, making it safe for the patient, up through the nurses. And finally, uh, after you've gone through all the sleuthing you can do as a physician with the history, the physical examination, uh, knowing who you can call on as a consultant who can contribute best to understanding the mystery of what's wrong with the patient. I'm most proud of, of the ability to raise a question, be curious about a problem I can't solve, and then apply the disciplines of science and medicine to that problem. I've been very fortunate in my original training in that we were able to, I was able to work with someone who developed the bone marrow transplantation for leukemia. Uh, Dr. E. Donald Thomas went on to win the Nobel Prize. I would always ask uh, the burgeoning physician to pay attention to who their individual patient is. Knowing the patient uh, is all the aphorism of you. If, if you ask the patient what's wrong, they'll tell you the diagnosis. Uh, the second thing would be to maintain curiosity. If you can't solve the problem and come up with a diagnosis and cure, keep pursuing it through every venue, through the laboratory, through looking into the person's home and family, and looking into the literature. And the third would be that the, the, actually the centralized hospital is a fairly high risk place. I'm a geriatrician and uh, therefore I'm very motivated to see technology taken to the patient rather than the patient to technology.